Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try the no-no song, Ringo Starr. C. Twice. F. Once. C back. Back to C. C. To F. G7. To a C. And then the chorus is C. Da, 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 da. Basically the song right there. So you got you got you're gonna have to have a C chord. Fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. C chord, I'm gonna be at the sixth string. Uh, you're gonna need an F chord. You could do any one. You could do the one where you have the just the two fingers, like a first and second string, your bar at the first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. You can play that little one like that. That's the first one I learned. Uh, I'm probably going to play like this with the second string, first fret, third string, second, fourth string, third, and then I'm going to wrap my thumb around the sixth string, first fret. More powerful. I like that one. It's my favorite for F chords. Uh, you could do the big bulky bar chord if you want. You bar the whole first fret, third string, second fret, fifth and fourth string at the third fret. You could do that one. How do you do that one? So those are some of your choices. Uh, if you're a very beginner, you could just play the second string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret, and just kind of hopefully you know lean over so the first string gets muted and maybe get the thumb up there just to touch the sixth string, not to grab it, but to just lean on it so it's muted. So that that's probably the first F chord to learn uh, when you're when you're a beginner. All right. Last chord is a G7 chord. First string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, sixth string, third fret. And that's all you need. Three chords for the whole song. All right, uh, there is like a little slight intro. I think it's just a C chord. Um, I made this um, more into like uh, something you cover rather than I didn't actually, you know, listen to the song and like break down every little nook and cranny of it. Um, there's a whole horn section interlude in there. Um, they might just be on a C chord. It sounds like something else is going on, but um, chances of you having a big band uh, behind you, a brass band behind you, uh, for the interlude is, is probably not going to happen. So basically, I just went verse, chorus. Um, and like I said, there's a little intro on a C chord, and then they get into the verse, and then uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Then there's like this little interlude, I think. Um, uh, at that point, I think, and uh, I didn't, I didn't bother with that because it was, uh, it doesn't seem to be too complicated either. Um, but the chances of you doing that, you know, around a campfire or something like that, is probably not going to happen. All right. So uh, the form of the tune is a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, a verse, and then a chorus, chorus. You just repeat that uh, no, 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 no part. So you got <clears throat> your verse is a C chord for two measures. Uh, something about a lady from Spain or uh, somebody's trying to sell it, get, get them something. So C. Oh, and my strum is down, down, up, up, down, up. Just something simple like that, okay? So you got C for twice. And then an F chord because he does not understand the C. And down, down, a C and then an F chord. And then a G7 and then to a C. I'm going right into the chorus. No, no, no. No more. He's tired of waking up on the G7. No, thank you, please. It only makes him sneeze. Then he's back to a C chord. And that's your chorus. So it's just really simple. Uh, if you want, uh, the verse is two patterns on C, one on F, back to C. Uh, for one, and then actually uh, C for two. Well, C for two. F for 1, then C for 2, F for 1, G7 for 1, C for 1. You could think of it that way if you want. And then the chorus is just a C chord for three measures or three patterns. And then a G7. You stay on the G7 for four patterns, and then you're back to the C at the end. 
and they end on a C chord. And that's it. So it's really simple. I think if you play along with it, you'll, you'll catch on real, real, real easily. Not a hard song. One of the easiest songs out there. Thank you, Ringo Starr. I don't know if he wrote it or not, but uh, he recorded it. He made it famous. So uh, Don't sleep on the floor. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.